All right, guys, welcome back. Thought I'd uh, give you a little show here on uh, some shooting I did today. Tested out some uh, 22 ammo in a couple rifles here. So let me just grab the camera and show you the rifle. So this is the American Ruger Rimfire. It's just your standard one. No bow barrel or anything like that. Just the original. And the uh, MMP 1522 brought those two guys out and uh, thought I'd uh, try some 22. So let's uh, let's take a look over here and see how I did. So uh, actually shot a couple of a uh, couple different ammos here so i did this one this is the uh, mexican i hope i say this right agila Ag agula i don't know can't i don't know how to say that but it's the uh it's a super extra standard velocity uh 40 grain bullet not too bad i found that my uh my 1022 tends to kind of like some like that bullet quite a bit um, and then uh, tried some SK Standard Plus. Again, I think this is 40 grain. It doesn't say anywhere on here. But I'm pretty sure that's a 40 grain. And then also uh, had one box of uh, Wolf Match Extra, which my 1022 that I have absolutely can shoot just pinhole all day long with this stuff uh, but let's take a look over here and uh, I'll show you what I did so what I do is I take notes here you know on my target and uh, we'll start out here so this is I take my glasses off here so I can see a little bit better up close so here's the uh, Agula um, I'm shooting all these at uh, 50 yards it was kind of a windy day today. Um, so I had the scope uh, on this first target at uh, six times. Not too bad. Um, it was, uh, again, it was kind of windy and it was a little bit cool, for, at least for California, it was cool. I think it was like, you know, 60 or something in the low 60s. So it was, a little, but the breeze made it feel, made it feel a little bit worse. So uh, cold barrel uh, started out. Not too bad. I mean, decent grouping. Uh, second one shot here, pretty much the same. Uh, a little bit larger. This one up here kind of flew up a little bit, uh, inch and a half. Again, just over inch and a half, uh, inch down here. So second target, uh, same ammo again. In fact, I'll, I'll put that out here. So. Did a little bit better right here, just over half an inch, not too bad. And, it, and again, I think it was, the wind was uh, coming from the right hand side and, and the way that the firing lane is, there's uh, like, it's sort of a berm on either side with a big berm in the, you know, in the back. Um, and the wind was coming over the top and kind of swirling around, pretty strong. I, I don't know how, how strong it was exactly, you know, and didn't have a measurement or anything like that, but, uh, being that I know a little bit about weather, I'm a meteorologist in the uh, Air National Guard. So uh, I'm going to guess it was probably about like 10 to 15 knots. Anyway, cranked up the scope to like 14. Really didn't do any, di that, you know, just more for me. It didn't really change the group size at all. You know, still someplace around, you know, that was the best one. These are five shot groups, by the way, you know, just over an inch, right at an inch there. Uh, tried to group down here with these four and then got one over there. It was, like I said, it was kind of cool and uh, I started getting a little cold and so that, that may have something to do with, uh, with the groups. So next, I tried my SK, right? Um, and as you can see, um, that really started tightening up the groups right there. Um, 
that is five shots right there. I think the I think one of these shots went through the same hole. So right at half an inch again. Uh, made a nice little circle. Punched the paper out in the center there, uh, just over half an inch. And then we took a break. We had a you know ceasefire for a little bit, about ten minutes or so. And then I really got cold. So again, still shooting SK here, um, but couldn't quite get them to group. Uh, the way I did with the uh, with the first two groups there, and just under an inch and an inch right there again, a little cold. Um, so I was starting to do, I was starting to jump around a little bit. All right, then it's my last box of wolf, so I kind of shoot it sparingly, but I figured, and and these two actually are. These two actually are pretty much the same thing. I, I actually think they're manufactured by, you know, the same factory, okay? Um, so I didn't expect to have it too much of a difference here. Um, the Wolf seems to have a lot more lube on it though. Um, if we take a look at it here. All right. So quite a bit of lube on the bullets with the Wolf, more so than with the SK. Again, they got the same, you know, same uh, markings and lube on it, but not as much. Matter of fact, if I take them both out, they look almost identical. So, hopefully I don't mix them up here. All right, so, let's see. All right, so then we went to the Wolf. Uh, again, pretty decent group. Like I said, uh, almost exactly the same as this because it's probably the exact same ammo. Uh, just under an inch, just under an inch again. I'm getting cold here, so kind of spreading out here. And that's through this gun here. That's through obviously the uh, the American uh, rimfire. All right, then down here I switched back to my Mexican 22, inch and a half, inch and a half. Um, so there's at least a half inch difference between the Mexican stuff and the German stuff, but not bad. All right, and then so. Then what I did, I took the uh, took the M&P out and uh, shooting off of a bag. I'm shooting off of this bag here um, with a you know rear bag and uh, the red dot sight at 50 yards. That's 20 rounds right there. Not too bad. Again, shooting this stuff here. Uh, I didn't want to waste. A bunch of my better ammo. Uh, still not bad for a red sight. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put a scope on this thing and just see how see how well I do with a the scope there. See how well the gun does with some of the different ammo. But not too bad. Nice nice grouping there. You know these things are an inch, so it's about one, two, three, about four inches or so at 50 yards. Not bad. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Some decent ammo out of the rifles. Till next time. Take care.